Hello again, and welcome to... Jackson, the space dog! That's me! Today we'll be talking about... Special products of polynomials. These special products cause predictable patterns. And we can use these patterns to reduce the amount of work we have to do. Let's take a look at the first pattern. In the pattern of a plus b times a minus b, notice that both binomials are exactly the same except for the plus and minus within them. We could take this example and multiply it out using either FOIL or the BOX method to get our final answer, or we could notice that it follows our first pattern and save ourselves some work. Let's see another example. Take a look at the pattern and see if you can solve this one on your own without multiplying it out. Let's see if you got it. Now try these on your own. How did you do? Now let's take a look at the... Hey! Who's working the camera? My paw! Carl, are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, right. Can we get Dennis back on the camera, please? Yeah. Now, let's look at the second special product of polynomials. First, remember that the binomial a plus b squared is the same as a plus b times a plus b. In this pattern, we have the same binomial with addition multiplied by itself. And just like the last time, we could use an example and multiply it out. Or we could use the second special pattern to save ourselves some work. In our example, our a value is x, which gets squared, giving us x squared. Our b value is 3, which gets multiplied by both our a value and the number 2, giving us 6x. And our b value, 3, gets squared, giving us 9. Now try these on your own. How did you do? Lastly, we have the third special product of polynomials. It looks similar to the second special product, except this is a minus b multiplied by itself. And again, we could use an example and multiply it out, or we could use the third special pattern and save ourselves some work. In our example, our a value is x, which gets squared, giving us x squared. Our b value is negative 4, which gets multiplied by both our a value and the number 2, giving us negative 8x. And our b value, negative 4, gets squared, giving us positive 16. Now try these on your own. How did you do? Thanks again for watching. See you next time on... Jackson, the Space Dog! That's me! Right, I'd just like to know whose idea it was that it would be okay to let Carl use the camera. Anyone? Hello?